Boy Scouting is a 105-year-old organization based on leadership properties and camping. There is a very rich history behind the Boy Scouts of America and how it evolved to what it is today. Boy Scouting started February 8th, 1910 with William D. Boyce when he incorporated Boy Scouts under the laws of the District of Columbia. The first official meeting was held at the White House addressed by President William Taft in 1911. Skipping ahead to 1915, the National Office, which is used to train the scouters, was established. 57 Merit Badge pamphlets were made, and the Order of the Arrow was founded. What exactly is the Order of the Arrow, Jackson? We'll cover that in a little bit, Jesse. Anyway, in 1916, the first college course in scouting began at Teachers College in New York. And now, the war years, the Boy Scouts sold Liberty Bonds amounting to more than $355 million. Don't forget that this. Don't forget that the Scouts aided in food and fuel conservation projects. Of course, how could I have forgotten that? In 1919, the first four gold medals were awarded by the National Court of Honors. What for? For saving someone's life while putting their own at risk. In 1934, President Roosevelt called upon the Boy Scouts to help the distressed or needy and caused a nationwide good turn. A year later, the Boy Scouts membership number passed one million. <laughs> Around 1914, the Philmont Scout Ranch in New Mexico was established. Philmont is what the Boy Scouts consider a high adventure, which we will also talk about later. Jumping way ahead to 1960, the 500,000 Eagle Scout Award was awarded along with the 40 millionth member joining the Boy Scouts of America. In 1969, the first female explorers group was created. But I thought this was called Boy Scouts. <laughs> you didn't know that females have some of the most important jobs in Boy Scouts? Well, no, I didn't. Anyway, in 1980, a high adventure in Florida called Sea Base was created. Two years later, the 1 millionth Eagle Scout Award was awarded. Neato! <laughs> Can you stop interrupting me so we can continue with the history? Anyway, skipping to 2009, the 2 million Eagle Scout Award was awarded. But what happened in the 29 years we didn't talk about? Mostly just national jamborees. Well, anyway, we should Anyway, we should all know what happened in 2010, right? Well, obviously, it's the 100th anniversary of the Boy Scouts of America. I'm just going to assume the next five years was just national jamborees and the other things, right? Yeah, pretty much. Hi, Gary. Now I'm going to briefly touch on the Order of the Arrow. The Order of the Arrow is the National Boy Scout Honor Society based on Trimble Service to the Community. This year was the 100th anniversary of the Order of the Arrow, which was also the year of which I got elected. Unfortunately, I can't go into detail of what actually happens at these types of events, but uh, Jesse can tell you that's what I'm To be eligible to be elected into the Order of the Arrow, you have to have 15 nights of camping, including one long term camp out. You also have to be first class or above. Then comes the hard part being elected by your peers. Sweet tea. Once you get the arrow of light in Cub Scouts, you can join a Boy Scout troop. The first rank you achieve is the rank of Scout, which shows if you know what the Scout oath and law are and how to properly do the Scout sign. The next rank is Tenderfoot, troop, which. The next rank is Tenderfoot, which demonstrates your physical ability and knowledge on first aid, how to pack and dress for a camp out, and how to properly handle the American flag. The next rank is Second Class, which deals with the Leave No Trace principle, knife, axe, and saw safety, a plan menu and gear for a camp out, and first aid. Next is the First Class rank, which deals with more leadership, planning, and attending camp outs, and explaining how to be good in your community and truth. The star rank deals heavily with leadership and air badger. You also have to show that you live the scout with the law. The life rank also deals with merit badges, but is more heavily focused on the leadership of the younger members in the troop. Rev up those friars. The Eagle Scout rank is the highest possible rank you can earn in Boy Scouting. To be an Eagle Scout, you have to have the 21 required merit badges, show that you live the scout oath and law, and most importantly, to plan and carry out an Eagle service project. Some examples of service projects we did are building a sandbox, awning, and a shed for a church, adding an in-ground irrigation system at another church, and making benches out of old barn wood and then placing them on an old homestead which the wood came from. 
If you complete all those requirements, you have to submit an eagle application to get accepted. The party in the party town. Wee! Long term camping is when you go camping for a week or more. For an example, every July we go out into the woods and go to a summer camp and work on merit badges for a week. Other long term camping could include high adventure trips. How's your job at Penn Station, Brock? High adventure trips such as Philmont, Red River Gorge, Sea Base, and Boundary Waters are week or longer trips including high physical activity. To be able to go on high adventure trips, you have to be 14 in first class to go alone. Otherwise, you can go with a parent. Merit badges are what makes Boy Scouting more about learning vital skills that you will need throughout your life. Of course, there are easy merit badges like swimming, first aid, or leather work. Then there are hard merit badges like environmental science, the three citizenship merit badges, and family life. The symbols on each merit badge represent what the merit badge is. For example, the camping merit badge has a tent on it representing camping. Also, the border is silver. That means it's eagle required. Our troop is known for a lot of things such as cooking, our monkey bridge, our Thuki gateway, and lots and lots of excellent food puns. Our troop just finds the puns very appealing and we just can't stop. During our troop meetings, we break up into three patrols. The Falcons, the Dragons, and the Adults Patrol, the Old Goats. Oh, you think we're kidding? Well, I'm not. Was that a not pun? Definitely not. Well, I need to stop lashing out on me. Oh, don't be a square. <laughs> so are we going to continue? Why not? Sometimes after the patrol talk is done, we go and play games such as Spud, Soccer, and Duck Duck Goose. Why not Dodgeball? Um, that game is gone. But we have a variation called Garrett's Dodgeball. Sounds cute. Finally, at the end of the meetings, we recite the Scout of the Moth. Safe to throw a quarter of my dress. The Scout Oath defines who you should be as a human. It states that you will help people at any given time and that you will keep yourself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Straight as in following your moral beliefs. Anyway, the Scout Law is the 12 points that make you a good person. It has some important traits such as being trustworthy, loyal, and helpful. Well, I guess that's all we got. <laughs> I assume so. So I guess this is goodbye. Seems that way. Well, goodbye. Stop making cheese puns.